Oh, everyone's favourite uh, Zionist Muppet is here. I don't mean Tommy Robinson, by the way. Although, maybe Tommy will start dressing like that one day, just for the views. The red telephone box is how I remember where to do the time tunnel. I'm walking up this road to visit the Grenfell Tower. It'll be the second time I went up, but the uh, first time I didn't film it particularly well. Today, there is a thing called the Day of Rage, which is a long protest march from Shepherd's Bush to Parliament Square. I think they're gonna make it that far. It is five miles in the scorching heat. It's gonna be 34 degrees centigrade this afternoon. And uh, I've already been out for hours. I'm gonna come back here later, presumably, to finish that time tunnel. And well, maybe you'll know already whether there's rage in the streets there. That's part of the route down there. I think the idea of the uh, raging and it being such a long sort of almost ceremonial route is to just sort of, they presume that, you know, the, the local community will start to follow them over such a long period that soon the entire town will converge on Westminster and they have two objectives today. Shut down London, which is the thing that makes me realise I'm glad I'm not actually working today because, oh my God, when they shut down London, it, it, it ruins everybody's day. And uh, their second one is shut down the government. But um, from my experiences earlier on, going to watch the very unorthodox state opening of parliament, I think they need to cross that one off the list because shutting down the parliament, I think is Theresa May's speciality. Interesting. The queen is not there as shown by the flag. A little bit odd, very odd. I've never seen it. State opening of parliament, Queen's not in town. Maybe because she's like an ascot or something, I don't know, she's gonna come in on the, on the, um, the gin carriage or something. She'll come in like really drunk. Well, maybe nothing will happen today. It seems like something's gonna happen. I mean, the police puppies are out. I have on today my Pelion Principal t-shirt, which remember I did first before it was printed on the front of Scotland Yard. Um, not, you know, the world has changed now though, so Pelion Principles don't really apply if you have, you know, a private police force like City of London Police, commonly just hanging around completely out of their territory in a very unaccountable way, you know. City of London Police are not really accountable is why they sort of just sort of stay mildly by the wayside uh, you know don't ask them any questions it's just that you know the police are the public and the public are the police but city of london police are not the public i was just into well interrogating one of the policemen off, off there saying is the car going to come down here it's no carriage is it like, nobody knows what the hell is going on there's a crash barrier here which means that there will be a vehicle coming out of this entrance i haven't been told that but I mean, you don't have to be Sherlock Holmes just to read the metal, you know? There's certain bits of metal in certain areas and they like to protect themselves with metal because otherwise, um, you know, the public, those weird, you know, racist, internet craving public might uh, get anywhere near them. It's really weird. It's like the whole thing. It's like they're dissolving the entire constitution of the country. I know that, um, you know, state opening of parliaments have happened before without the carriage and everything like when the queen was pregnant but the, i don't think the queen is pregnant anymore i don't think she is anyway she might be that'd be terrifying Not quite as terrifying as that guy over there though hmm. 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 this has been turned into like a fortress literally whitehall's never looked more like an open-air prison before and it's very calming, you know, to know that you're really safe, especially if it was like to try and use the internet. And, you know, most of the web pages were unavailable if they had radical language in them. That would make me feel like really, really safe. But let's keep moving, please, to the crossing point. It's a crossing point, a moving point. It's a crossing point, sir. Okay. All right. It's a crossing point, sir. Okay. Can we keep moving, please? Thank you very you're much. You're very photogenic. Confirmed magic. 
is actually being used. Don't worry, you're much better looking than the Queen. You know? Oh God. See? Confirmed. So it is going on. Oh, what's she going to say? What's she going to be forced into saying this time? And is it going to stand up to scrutiny? And is it all going to be abolished? And will the Queen even bother coming down here and doing it again? God. I, I don't, I mean, I don't really, I don't follow the meme about, you know, politicians being inept and Boris Johnson being, you know, a dumb shit. I just don't believe that. And, you know, so many people now are being basically radicalised by social media into thinking that all the stuff that's happening to the country right now is all because of ineptitude and the fact that they don't really know, they don't have a plan. Of course they have a plan. And the plan is to hold on to power. I mean, that's always been the plan. Other than that, it's just make-believe PR magical tricks to just stop revolutions happening because the main model that has always been run from here is just to maintain power, whichever party it is. Obviously down there, look, the Red Party, the Red Army marching. That, that was weird because it's now like nearly half past 11. It's like half an hour late. I was just reading the news actually and it said that Prince Philip has been admitted to hospital with a bladder infection. And I thought, that's it, she's definitely not coming. But was that Prince Philip in the car? I'll have to look back at the footage, I have no idea. It was Charlie. Well, you knew that already. Oh my god, it's not at half mast. It's not at half mast. How insensitive. The Queen literally should be banned from Twitter right now because the flag is not at half mast. Well, that's about as exciting as it gets this morning. Presumably, there's either going to be a mass hipster riot here later on, or nothing at all. I'm not sure if I can get anywhere near it, to be honest. It was perfectly quiet in this square until I started doing the piece of camera. And I'm nearly run down by a van, which is obviously quite a controversial topic. I'm gonna walk around and see if I can get any closer. I'm not sure if I actually can. First time I came here, it was just for my, oh, my rubbish Patreon vlog, where the, the camera work was really bad and low definition and the, the sound basically didn't work. And that's what you get for a dollar for a whole month of manpower. Um, There's a very somber mood here. The whole thing is uh, cordoned off actually. They're moving in like big cranes and stuff. I guess to shore it up, start taking it apart maybe. What an ironic, I mean, God. Tread Gold Street, hmm. I'm gonna just get out of here. 
I'll put the crap video I made for my blog linked at the end of this video so you can watch that one afterwards. The sound is horrific. I don't know if you saw it there, but somebody threw their tissue at my camera. As they were coming past. Did you see that? The venting of like rage already. And I'm not even a representative of the government. I didn't know how to tell them. There's lots and lots of police vans. I, I guess they think they're going to need a lot of room. Although there wasn't that many of them. And do you really think I'm going to walk like the rest of the three and a half miles, whatever it is, or four miles? Hell no, I'm gonna get the London Underground. Uh, the police are having their lunch, obviously, because like, you've got to have lunch before like the entire government and the entire town gets shut down by 400 people. Yeah, there'll probably be more of them when they eventually get down here, but I'm just gonna have to sit it out, do the professional journalistic thing of just hanging around. Although, if I was an actual journalist, what I'd do right now is go to the pub and have about four pints of beer. I'm not a proper journalist, so I'm probably just going to sit, you know, thinking about life on the on the lawn here outside the MOD, which is where all the hipsters like to party, you know, during protests at the MOD. So they can be sort of studied while they're here. Um, I hope they give us some kind of like warning when the government's about to shut down, because uh, I'd hate to be caught unawares, you know. I'm just joking. They're going to be hours yet. Oh my god. This is where the problem lies. Um, you've got the, the masked guys over there, like Inonymous, and here to stop them from getting to Parliament, you have the armed police. So are they going to open the fire on, on the protesters? I mean, is that, is that what's going on? Is that what we're going to see? Is that uh, the kind of justice though? Oh shit, they are actually blocking the road over there. For the many, not the few. We'll get out of the road then if it's for the many. It's hilarious actually. Like, they say, if you don't give us justice, we won't give you peace. What they really mean is, if you don't give us social housing, we're going to blockade the middle lane of Bridge Street, City of Westminster. I know. That guy is from Uber, mate. And that guy is like, Am I supposed to just run them down in the street? Isn't that illegal? The fact they're so aligned with Jeremy Corbyn, the fact that they're so-called revolutionaries, yet they're calling out the name of one of the leaders of the main political parties, just reinforcing the natural hegemony and the two-party state. They are essentially helping Theresa May. So, well done, guys. Rage. Ooh.